Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a little uh, web page JavaScript application where you can move a graphic around with the arrow keys and if you hold the shift key down they go faster. And this doesn't use a framework like uh, Phaser and it doesn't use the, the canvas. Uh, it just uses the HTML image tag. So let's see how we do this. Okay, let's create the index.html file. And we'll do everything in there. And then I have a graphic file here that I'll copy in. All right, so let's um, edit the index.html file. Uh, the title of this, we'll call it moving image example. And I should be able to start the browser here and there's nothing um, happening yet. That's good. I've got a couple other tabs with some things we might look up. Okay, so what's the first thing we want to do? Let's um, create the image. So inside the body, we'll use the image tag. And this is called graphic.ping. Okay, and um, just to see if that works. Great, there's the image. Now we want to make it so we can move it around. So let's give it an ID so we can access it from JavaScript. We'll call this graphic. Okay. Then if we want to be able to uh, position it relative to its parent, the body, um, we need to use some CSS style to do that. So let's put style here, okay, and make sure it's still is there, good. Okay, so what should we do next? Let's write a script. So here's some code, and then um, why don't we start by just getting the graphic. So we'll create a const graphic document get element by ID graphic. And then just to prove that we have that, we'll do this. Here's the console over here. And um, is this our message? I think so. Okay. Um, right. Now, let's create some variables that will keep track of where the, uh, the graphic is. So these can't be constants. They can't be constants because they're going to change. So we use let. We'll start at the top left corner. And then IntelliJ is telling me that I haven't turned on the ECMAScript version 6 um, mode. So we'll do that. Uh, then we'll have Y. So we have X and Y. We need to um, be able to keep track of which keys are down. Um, why don't we start by just making a event listener. And we get an event. And what will we do? Well, why don't we start by just doing console log event. Okay, so watch over here as I press keys. A, B, C, arrow right, arrow left. Okay, so that's working. Well, one thing we could do here is we have the graphics, so we could say graphic style, S-T-Y-L-E, -S -T -Y uh, style dot top plus equals. Um, no, we can't do that. we got to say, um, yeah, right, this equals um, Y P 
px. And we need to add to y. So let's just do that here. Okay. So you see it's moving down. Um, but this won't work if I want to have two keys held down, this kind of triggering the movement with the key down event. So what I'm going to do instead is make a set, which is a collection of unique elements, a set of all the keys that are currently down. So it'll be empty when no key is held down. And if I'm holding down, say, the uh, up arrow and the right arrow, then it'll contain arrow right and arrow down. Let's make that set and I'm going to call it down keys. Okay, so what we want to do here in this listener is instead of this changing stuff here, we're going to do this. Down keys, add the key from the event. We need, to, we need to do the moving now if the uh, if a key is down. So let's make a function called update that'll do this job. And then um, we'll call it here. This says that um, the idea is that we're doing animation and um, this will cause update to get called. And then at the end of update, we need to do this again so it gets called repeatedly. And now in here, we can say something like, um, uh, if down keys has something like um, arrow down, Then we'll do kind of what we did before. We'll add to y and then we will um, change the style. Okay, I yeah, might have made mistakes, but let's just see. Okay, that's working. Oh, look, it's going on its own. So why is that? What do I need to do for that? Well, how about if we have a key listener for key up, when a key is released, and we will delete. Okay, I'm holding down, and I release it, and it stops. Good. We need to now uh, do something with the other keys. And this could get kind of long. You know, if I just duplicate this once for the other keys. So I want to come up with a way to shorten this. Um, so what I'm going to do is make a function inside this one. And it's going to return true or false, depending on whether the key is down. And it's going to do down keys has key. Okay, now that shortens this a little bit. I can say if is down, arrow down. I'll just test this. Okay, it still works. I want to make this a little shorter, so I'm going to put the plus plus y right here. Get rid of this. And I'm going to move it on one line. And I'm even going to get rid of this, these braces for the block. And I know this is kind of non-standard style, but... Um, I think it'll read better when I'm done. Make sure this still works. Yes. Okay. Now you see when I add the others, there's sort of a pattern here. So let's do up. And I really do like these things to line up. A lot of people don't care. Um, I just think it's easier to read if you see, well, those are obviously all the same. And I can see plus, minus. Oh, let's do plus, minus, plus, minus. We'll alternate like that. Down, up, right, left. Okay. Another thing I can do is just to shorten this. I can do uh, extract variable, and I'll just call this S for style. Um, and this can be a const. 
So that shortens it. So S has got the style object, and so now we can just shorten this to S. See if this works. Right, left, down, up. Good. Two keys at once. Well, let me add a feature where if you have the shift key held down, um, it'll go faster. So I'm going to make a const called, uh, I want to call it change amount, but I want it to be short because it's just used here briefly. So I'm going to call it D for delta, which often is used to mean change. And I'm going to set this to is down shift question mark. So if it is down, then D will get a value of 10. Otherwise, D will get a value of 1. And then here, instead of using these pre-increment operators to add 1 or subtract 1, I'm going to use the slightly longer form um, Y plus equals D. And X minus equal D. Okay, I did that kind of quickly. Let's just see if that works. Hold down shift, goes fast, works with down, up, left, even works with two keys at a time. Um, I guess I didn't show you these. This describes how to make and use a set. And this talks about the keyboard event key. And there's even a list of all the values. So this is where you find um, the strings for the keys that you might use in case you want to use some other keys like page down, page up. And the code, github.com slash DC Bruchetti in the web games repository um, moving element. Okay, there you go. See you next time.